treats. See ya. Hi. Actually, welcome. Welcome to another vlog. Vlog. Video blogger, YouTuber. Just a guy doing a documenting his journey, his passion, his side hustle, side shuffle, so my color. Well, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining me. Today is Saturday, the 29th of April. Um, I'm just about to go to work and uh, then I'm going to do some training with Luke Taylor. Uh, you might know him as Taylor Made Gains on Instagram. Uh -huh, sorry, uh, what else are we doing? We're going for the bougie woogie, even though it's two days out from May 1st. We'll get a sneaky bougie woogie. Maybe I'll just get like loads of salsas and stuff, so it's not too bad. And I'm going to train, so I'll show you what I'm doing in the gym, show you what food I'm eating, so then you know what I do. Is the weight. You know, 5.1 this morning, that was 144 kilos last January. So, whatever I whatever I'm doing consistently, it seems to be working. And uh, I hope when you see my pictures on May 1st, you're like, holy fuck, that is great. Come I take inspiration from that, and I'm gonna go and do that myself. Or just even if you don't need to do this weight, you just take inspiration from it. But don't take hatred from it. Don't go, why the fuck are you posting another picture in your boxer shorts, kid? do what I want and I don't worry about what, what other people think and you should live that way too because you have one life you gotta do what you wanna do <laughs> tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake cause I don't fucking care at all You've been out all night, I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words, not making any sense But I don't fucking care at all Cause I have hella feelings for you I act like I don't fucking care But they ain't even there Cause I have hella Things for you I act like I don't fucking care Cause I'm so fucking scared I'm only a fool For you And maybe you're too Good for me I'm only a fool For you I don't fucking care, I don't fucking care, I don't fucking care Nine ninety eight. Super duper. <clears throat> yeah. That's great. Yeah. Did you drink all that today, did yeah. you? Yeah, fair yeah. One down, 2.6 litres. I'll drink another one at least. <laughs> So I can just, this is great. Yeah. I do that in gin. <laughs> <laughs> Not far, brother. That's great. Yeah, I'll give you a receipt for that. Super. I you my gin bottles are blue as well. That's Bombay, <laughs> Bombay Sapphire. Right? Bombay is good stuff. Oh, I can easily mine. do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, lads. All right. Have a good weekend. Yeah, Thanks. Cheers. 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 Taking the vlogging action to next level. Got this beast of a tripod. The boys were comping on there. Uh, yeah, 2.6 liters of water. That's in my belly. He said he could do 2.6 liters of gin. Here's a bit of a bit of crack here now. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, oh, that's good. I have to get to Georgia Street ASAP. I can't be getting distracted. I wasn't even supposed to walk. I've been meaning to get a new battery and I've been meaning to get a tripod. And I thought 90 quid. The battery is 70 quid on the on the Canon website. And those camera shop dudes are around for a very long time, so they have reputable gear. And yeah, it's just good to have this uh, 
have this tripod. Once I get to 1k following, then I'll then I'll be like feel like a YouTuber. <laughs> but you know, it's great seeing the gym. How's it going? Uh, no thanks. Is it? I'd imagine uh, there's wheat in it. Yeah. We do a gluten free. Oh, do you? Yeah, gluten free, nothing. Oh cool. I won't make you chop one up for to taste it. But thanks. Have a good one. Gorgeous Street. Go through, I think it's called Georgia Street Arcade. Yes it is. Always look left up right when you're crossing the road. Right, well, let's see what they have in here. Ah perfect. That worked out very well. So I was gonna keep walking. And here we are. It's one of the 24 hour gyms. Not all of them are 24 hours. Probably shouldn't be vlogging I'm walking across the road, but I am always. Senses are open, you know. So, uh, hoping it's around 2 o'clock. We'll see. It's always a challenge getting in the fucking doors, man. Lukey, how are you, bro? <laughs> how are the videos going? Well, you know what? Well, I, at least you're trying to film everything, right? Yeah. Everything I was doing. Vlog straight today. the day. And that's his video. So, So yeah, we're just starting with legs and then we're doing push workouts. So we're doing some chest, triceps, shoulders. I'm also gonna throw a bit of back in because I'm gonna do some posing upstairs because we're two days out from May 1st. That's 365 days of documenting my fat loss journey on YouTube. Similar to Brian Fitness, this stuff is super slow, so he always has the way into the ball and maximize the contractions. I don't train like that, but maybe it's something you can give it a try. You should always kind of have to control the weight. Sometimes it's a nice place for cheating, and I do that. I do a bit of everything. See what works for you. I couldn't I couldn't close the belt. I couldn't even get to this one. And now I'm on the last one. There's no more. I have to make more. So don't always go by the scales. Go by your belt, your clothes, your image, how you feel, your progress pictures, your measurements. I'm big about weight, but weight is not everything. Go. Easy. Easy. Come on. One more. Let's go. Push. 
Okay guys, we are going to move on to the military press or the standing overhead press. I would say undisputed, pound for pound number one for shoulder development. Shoulders are designed to take heavy weight, so you should be able to lift a decent amount of weight here, but don't go too mad. Keep your torso and your back straight. Nice, wide, firm stance. Squeeze your glutes so that you're stable. And then keep your elbows below your wrists and push up, okay? So Luke's gonna catch me doing something there. Sir, tell the CNF Army how you gr grow your social media or how you grew your social media. Work. Work? Lots and lots of work. Lots of work. Um, just like Gary V says, like, it's just all in the work. Like, yeah. Endless, endless sleepless nights. Yeah. Messaging people, video messages. Liking, yeah. liking so many pictures that you get banned from <laughs> Just uh, some of my bench tips. I like to make sure I have good leg drive and good uh, support in my back so I do a bit of an arch but keep my bum on the bench. Shoulders pinned back into the bench and chest out and then driving the heels into the floor So I feel like it isolates chest more so I stay like on the bench um, That's how I do it When I'm taking it off the bar is at high level and my arms are at a 45 degree angle Look at them delts, man. <laughs> Look at them fucking delts. <laughs> driven back into the bench, keep your bum on the bench, use your feet for leg drive, and a good squeeze at the top. We're doing three sets of eight reps. Easy, Lukey. Two. Good man, bro. Guys, we're gonna up the intensity now, start doing some supersets. So this is an exercise you don't see a lot, it's a dumbbell pullover. Um, it works the pectoral muscles, but it also engages the lats as well. So we're gonna do that, and then some side lateral raises for the medial head of the shoulder. And we have some shoulder abduction there. So Lukey's gonna get me doing it. There you go, bro. Oh, 
what we're doing, lateral raises. We're going to be incorporating something that I heavily believe in called rest pause training. It's going to be banging out reps, as many as you can do, then taking a four to five second break, and then going straight back into another set. More volume. It's better for fat loss and burning more calories throughout the rest of the day. We're going to go upstairs now, get some progress pictures and get some uh, progress videos. And this will actually be out after May 1st, so I'll include everything in it. I was trying to hold back on as much progress stuff as possible, but I do love posting it. So see you soon. And people love seeing it. Some people do, some people don't. But if you don't, just click and follow. I'm not being negative. I don't need to hear people saying slagging me for putting up progress pictures like this is what I do. You know, it's gonna be my side hustle, my income, all that shit. Anyway, see you upstairs. Back in recording, mate. And you can stand. Yeah. Yeah, stand slightly. Yeah, I'll just stand slightly over here. Perfect. Right, so. Front relaxed. Still a little bit of fat. Chest leg. Front tense. Front double bicep. everything is tight enough I can't control that so I don't worry about it and uh, that's it thanks for we're gonna wrap the no we're going to bougie bougie we'll see you in bougie bougie <laughs> plenty of food to be consumed and just to keep in mind as well along with what Cormac was saying you can actually eat and lose weight you don't have to starve yourself just put just tell it out there all done good push workout 
squats, overhead press, bench press, side lateral raises. We did a bit of everything, you know, rows, frontal raises, rear delt raises. And now we're going for the bougie bougie. Right, so, cheeky diet coke, and then I went no rice, so the bottom was sweet corn salsa, then we had mild tomato salsa, pork, chicken, sour cream, guacamole, more sweet corn, and I put some hot sauce on there as well, black beans and pinto beans, so no rice, you know, you can eat out, have a bit of crack, so it's all G. sure which stuff I had put onto my Mac and which stuff I didn't put onto my Mac so I just didn't record any more in Dublin but we really didn't do a whole lot more other than get the bougie bougie and then I was just kind of floating around and wait uh, wait in Ranelagh in my uh, my other home where I rent um, and I my parents live here in Nace I'm just home for holidays but my mom was in Dublin so I collected her and brought her back to Nace and now I'm in Nace I'm gonna chill out I don't really party at the weekends, I'm very focused on getting my dream physique, I'm very focused on saving, I'd love to buy a, a, a home in the next, you know, foreseeable future. Mammy's calling me, I'll be out in two minutes, Polly. Okay, I'd love a cup of tea, uh, I'd love a cup of tea, please. Thanks, Polly. Just doing a cheeky vloggy. Um, so look, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. I've been getting some good uh, view viewership. Um, I've been getting some good likes and stuff. So, you know, if if this is working for you and you like it, just let me know, like and comment. Uh, you know, it's it's really important for me to find out what you guys think because I don't just do this for the crack. I do it to provide interesting content. And what I'm always trying to do is like I just remember from college is I'm trying to evoke an emotion. So you see me on my journey, and you you know you take something from that. You you see the weight I've lost and the weight I, I have to lose and what I'm trying to do. You take emotion from that and you'll like it because of that. Maybe you like it because it is funny, entertaining, okay? So that's the second thing. And then the third thing normally that evokes an emotion out of someone would be like a monetary thing. Well, I don't give you anything for free. Well, it's free content. So um, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, today is the 29th of April. Two days after the 1st of May, it's been a long road, it's been lots of ups and downs, and uh, I couldn't have done this without you guys. If I didn't have to make this content for you and document the journey, um, I wouldn't have been as focused and stuff like that. So, like, the days, like... I remember I had three or four weeks off, I was away in this mad bender up in Belfast and I was just depressed out of my head for like three or four weeks after. I was getting takeaways every night 
I was eating four packets of Mars bars, or a four pack of Mars bars, or Snickers, sorry, Snickers is way better than Mars. But I was like, I have to get back, because I have to do videos, and I have to do, I can't give up again. I've given up and failed and messed up, and I've hit all these roadblocks, and I've had shit happen so many times, but I posted up this cool picture today. Uh, my brother shared it, and I stole it from him. And you know, you could be so close, and I feel like I, I'm nowhere near the abs, but I'm close. You know, I'm as close as I've ever been because I have the focus and the work ethic and the maturity and everything. I'm just ready for it, you know. So, 144 kilos, 22.7 stone, February 2016. It's April 2017, we're 105.1. Um, hopefully 104 on Monday-ish, 104, whatever, I'll be happy. I'm just going to keep going until I'm shredded. I'm going to do it healthily and I want you to be able to know that I did this naturally through hard work, consistency, belief, mindset, training, diet, nutrition, and that you can do it too. We're not the exact same, but, you know, we're both just normal people. So, that is it. Thanks for watching. Believe in yourself and be yourself, and that is not no bullshit. You need to have a great, powerful mind to go after these big goals, and you need to be yourself to be truly happy and just grateful and happy every day you wake up. Don't try and be anybody else. Don't try to be someone that you're not or impress other people. Just be who you are. That's all. Motivational rant over. Thanks for watching. CNF. <laughs> YouTuber, vlogger. Thanks, guys. Love you. Brief. I can never be complacent with the lies, no complicit with the evil the spirit you keep inside. People surprised the weather this vibe like a compassion to pass on the pages surpassing what you've been asking while passing up in the moment. I live inside of the beat. The point I wanna get across is I'm not accepting defeated, the feeling of being depleted when all I really needed was a little bit of help. I never got it by myself. You mean to tell me that the only reason for living